click on the start again. It will start the quiz activity for your software application domain. Now here are some questions are given which shows so first question like a railway reservation system has falls under which category you have to choose correct answer and then next then next question will be display now spreadsheet is again select option here we will choose one wrong answer so we can get the required feedback so my answer are saved now now click on the submit all and finish now you can view the summary or review for your report submit all and finish now you can view your score and the feedback for particular question whether your answer is right or wrong and which was the correct answer site is loading slightly now this is your progress report Grade is fifty percent. That one is right and one is wrong. Now you can view the feedback. Your answer now first one is the correct answer. So use the feedback as your answer is correct. And here are some explanation about each and every options given. Now the second one which we have chosen wrong. Then then there is a feedback for that answer is. The correct and correct answer is the client software. Now, you may click on finish review. Your quiz activity is now completed. On software application domain topic. Next stage is to complete the submission for workshop activity. Now, in submission, there are instructions that each and every student has to follow while doing the submission in workshop activity. Here is setup. Now, this is the instruction. And click on the start preparing your submission. Now, your instruction is given. You can directly type your answer or upload your files. If you are uploading the files, then file types must be .txt, .rtf, .doc, .docx, .pdf, and .odt. And you are directly writing. Into a text area, then there is no need to upload the file. Now, give the title for your submission. Then your submission content. Submission content is nothing but your answer. And if you are uploading the file, then you have to upload file here. And these are the allowed file types. After giving your answer, click on the save changes. The next activity is for use case diagram. In use case diagram, there is a quiz activity and the database activity for submission. The quiz activity is same for as software application domain. Now we will look at database activity. Now this is database activity. Here the question given is 
no use case diagram for library system now there are certain fields given so that student can submit their answer in a database form it has some field namely roll number then their file here is option given as you must add one more entry before you can view other participants entry here we have restricted the student that he or she cannot view the other students files she or he adds a file then and then only he can view other students answer then click on the add entry then after adding a an entry choose one use case diagram in a paint file student has to give full number then name and usd here instruction is given as upload your file in a usd column that is use case diagram column then here you are allowed to submit a file now draw on your skills diagram for library system now here i am drawing a sample your skills diagram which is very simple now i am not giving it in a detail i am just showing how to submit the file so i am drawing this user here now you can write text in it that is register submitting your answer to a detailed diagram here for video i am showing just a simple now you have to draw primary and secondary actors i am drawing only a primary actor and you label and save this file as you save diagram 103 that is roll number then save this now you can upload this in your mobile file click on this button then now you have to choose from the folder location now the file select the target folder and click the required file and submit 
submit it. Upload the file. After uploading and saving this file, you can see here file name. Save and view. Now you can view the submission made by the other students if they have done the submission. You may check here. Here is view list. Now you can view the submission by other users. At first time, there were some messages that you can view the entry. Now you can view the entry. Now the next topic is discussion forum. Here on discussion forum, there is a question that discuss various applications that you have used in your day to day life. You have to provide your answer or post your answer on a discussion forum. Again, there are certain instructions given to do this particular activity. In discussion forum, here we have certain reflection points. Now, click on this discussion. And you can post your discussion now. There is certain instruction on that visit minimum to post and clear it. Next one is reflection. The reflection quiz is access based upon whether you have written each and every activity or not, you have to give answer accordingly. And then, the course feedback. Course feedback allows you to give or assess the feedback of your course. The, there are certain questions and that, that are mapped from average to excellent. Options are average, good, very good and then excellent. Now here is message shows that you have already completed the activity but we can view the answer here so that you can get the idea by what type of questions were. Now the OER activity software engineering is licensed under Creative Commons. You can visit this site again. You can download the contents of this site and distribute the contents of this website. So you are free to use. In submitted answer. We can view the summary of our answers. Then we can view the various snapshots or we can say that a pie chart or a bar chart a graphical representation for our answer all of you have understood how to use this oer course